Hello, my name is Dr. Kyle Menning, and I'm a Special Olympics Wisconsin Special Smiles Clinical Director, and I wanted to introduce you to our program if you're not familiar with it. With the financial help of the Delta Dental of Wisconsin Foundation, we are able to help and, and provide free dental screenings at some of our Special Olympics Wisconsin athletic events throughout the year. Our goal is to provide a free oral health screening, a fluoride varnish to help protect the teeth, individually fitted mouth guards, oral health education, and information regarding any follow-up care that may be needed if you are interested. It is our goal to guide the athlete to a good oral health and an overall healthy lifestyle. Your whole body needs you to keep you to stay healthy, so do your part and stay healthy and brush those teeth. Enjoy the video that the Special Care Dentistry Association at Marquette University School of Dentistry has provided you. We hope this helps you be more comfortable at the dental school and at your regular dentist. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to stop by the Special Smiles area at your next event to come say hi. Hi Special Olympics Wisconsin. Today we're going to be showing you what it's like to come to the dentist. Come on in. The first place you'll encounter walking into our school or any dental clinic is the front lobby and the waiting area. Here you'll get your temperature taken. We take the temperatures of all our patients and students to make sure everyone is healthy and ready to enter the school. The next thing we'll do is check you in. This makes sure that your dentist or dental student knows you're here and ready to get started with your appointment. After checking in, you'll wait in the waiting area until your student dentist comes and calls your name, and then we're ready to go. Hi Carly, we're ready for you. Here you go. Thank you, how are you doing today? Good, thanks, how are you? Good. If you are a brand new patient at Marquette's Dental School or any dental clinic, the first thing we do is ask you some questions about you and your health. These questions include basic things like basic information about yourself, how you feel on the day that you're coming, questions about your health in the past, questions about your dental health in the past. All of these questions help dental staff better treat you. So what brings you in today? I'm just getting a checkup. So the first thing that we're going to do before we get started is go ahead and take your blood pressure. It's important for us to get to know you, so the first things we ask when you come in are your name, your age, your gender, and a few other questions to make the dental appointment easier. Also, we may ask you if you are able to sign legal documents yourself or if you have a legal guardian who can sign them for you. Are you able to sign for yourself? Yeah. The next thing we'd like to ask is how you're feeling. If you're feeling sick or if you're in pain, making you feel better is our first priority before we do anything else. Are you in any pain today? No. If you're feeling good on the day of our appointment, we can move on to asking about your health. This includes asking about when was the last time you went to the dentist, if you've been treated recently or something else, if you have any long-term conditions, and if there's any medicine you are taking. When was the last time you saw your doctor? About six months ago. And are you taking any medications? No. Nope. Finally, we'll ask you about your mouth. This includes things like how often you brush and floss, what you eat and drink, when is the last time you've been to the dentist, and if you have any other teeth that have been treated before. This makes it easier for us to know what you've already done so we can know what we need to do in the future. So how often are you brushing your teeth? Twice a day. And how often are you flossing your teeth? Twice a day. And when was the last time you saw your dentist? A year ago. Yeah. After that, we're all done with the screening and we can move on to the interoral exam. The next thing we do is look inside your mouth and use a few tools to check to see if your teeth and gums are healthy. The first thing that we do is make sure all your teeth are there. Most people will have between 28 and 32 teeth once all the teeth come in. Before you get your adult teeth, you have 20 teeth as a kid. So, to make sure we are treating you right, we like to count how many teeth you have and what kind of teeth you have. Do you have baby teeth or adult teeth? The doctor will put on safety glasses on you and herself to protect you. She will also put on a face shield. She might use a light so that you can see the teeth a little bit better. We're going to go ahead and count your teeth today. Sounds good. Go ahead and open wide. 
One, two, three. While counting your teeth, we also use special tools to look for any spots that we could fix. Everything is looking very healthy. There might be one spot that has some sugar bugs though. We might need to fix that for you. The next appointment you'll have, if this is your first time here or you haven't been back in a while, is taking x-rays. X-rays are an important tool for dentists to be able to see things we wouldn't usually be able to see just with our eyes. The dentist will help you put on a special jacket to make sure that we protect your body. There are a few ways we can take an x-ray. Most likely, we'll be using these film plates. We'll also use some colored rings to help us take a better picture. These little films go right next to your teeth in your mouth mm -hmm. and then are used to take pictures. We use these to look at your crown, your roots, and every space in between. We will take these pictures with a mounted x-ray machine like the one you see here. This is like taking a picture of your teeth with our special camera. Say cheese! If we want to take a larger picture of your whole mouth, we may do something called a panoramic x-ray or pan. The dentist will help you put on a special jacket again. The pan x-ray moves around your head taking one big picture that includes your jaw, all of your teeth, your bones, and other important structures. After this, we get this picture. With this, we can know exactly what we can do to help you in our clinic. Once we have all your teeth checked out and x-rayed, we're ready to get to a cleaning. We have many ways to clean your teeth and we're going to show you a few ways that we do that. The dentist will probably have a helper sitting next to you to assist her with your cleaning. Before you get started, the dentist will put a bib on you to make sure your clothes stay clean. The dentist will move the chair down to make you feel comfortable and relaxed. The first thing we'll do is use our special tooth cleaners. These are important tools we use to get plaque off the teeth above and below your gums. This not only helps your teeth stay healthy, but okay. keeps your gums healthy and makes them not hurt. After this, we will move to the tooth polisher. The dentist will use some fun flavored toothpaste too. This helpful tool can help polish, clean, and shine up your teeth while removing anything we don't want. The helper will rinse out your mouth with water and use a special straw to keep everything dry. After this, to make sure we get between your teeth, we use floss. This helps get rid of all of the food that may get stuck between your teeth. Last, we like to place what we call fluoride on your teeth. The dentist uses a paintbrush to paint it on your teeth. This keeps your teeth healthy and strong. It's just like vitamins for your teeth. After all of this, your teeth will be nice and clean. After all of this is finished, there are a few things that can happen. If we don't find anything to fix, the next appointment you will have is another cleaning. Depending on your teeth, this could be anywhere from two months to six months. If we do find something, we could do a number of different treatments to fix any problem you might have. One of the most common dental procedures is a filling. If you have a cavity, we will use this instrument to take out bad parts of your teeth and then fill them in with strong materials instead to keep your teeth nice and strong. There are other treatments that could also happen, like extractions, root canals, and crowns.
distraction is when we take a bad tooth out that might be causing you pain. This tooth is hurting me over here. All right, we'll take a look. That tooth does look sick. Because it looks sick and is making you hurt, we're going to wiggle it out. A root canal is when you have a sick root on one of your teeth. And we use special tools to take out what is making your root sick and replace it with a new, healthy, soft material. Also, if the top of your tooth is weak or broken, we can put a new top on your tooth called a crown. We use tools to make a base for this crown to go on, which will make your tooth healthy and strong again. For all these procedures, we use something called anesthesia. Using special materials, we can numb your mouth so you don't feel any pain. I'm going to put this jelly on your gums. It'll make your teeth feel sleepy. Now that we're back home, we're going to show you what you can do when you're back home too. Every day you should brush your teeth at least two times a day. Once when you wake up and once when you go to bed. And if you really want to have strong teeth, you can brush after your meals or when you snack. When you brush, you should brush for two minutes each time. Start by putting this amount of toothpaste on your toothbrush. Then put it under the water for just enough to get it wet. Then we can start. As you can see, Margaret is making small circles when she brushes and has the brush pointed to her gums. This helps clean both above and under your gums, as well as your teeth. And don't forget, when you brush your teeth, get the front, the back, and the tops. After this, spread out all the toothpaste and make sure to brush your tongue to keep that clean too. Once you're done brushing, that means you got your fronts, the backs, and the tops of your teeth. But we want to make sure you don't miss one last spot, and that's between your teeth. Now there are a few ways we can floss. You can use floss by itself, or you can even use other ways of flossing. When you floss, you wrap around your middle finger and pinch with your index finger and thumb. You hug the sides of the tooth and go back and forth and up and down to get out any food or plaque that might be stuck. And remember, you should floss at least once a day or after meals. Just to get any area you may have missed, we like to finish with mouthwash. We recommend Listerine mouthwash with fluoride or Act mouthwash without alcohol. Both of these, when you swish them around in your mouth, not only help clean out anything left over, but also strengthen your teeth with the ingredients inside. Mouthwash for 15 seconds after brushing and flossing can keep your teeth healthy and your breath smelling good. And doing just these three things every day can help your teeth stay healthy and strong. That wraps up everything we have to teach you about a Marquette Dental School visit or any clinic you might see in the future. We hope you learned something today about staying healthy. So, stay healthy, stay happy, and from Marquette to you, we hope we see you soon.